Hi guys, it's coming up to fox shooting time again and we're all getting excited about it. I seen the uh, first pup on the road the other day run over, so it was only a small one, it was only 12 inches long but they're starting to get about so another few months they'll be out, left their parents and killing everything they can get hold of so get out there and get into it. Anyway, I'll show you what I take when I go hunting just for an afternoon or a morning quick whistle. This is the kind of backpack that I use. It's only basic, open up, and another spot in the front here where I keep ammo and um, shells and other the wallet and the other stuff like that. And of course, about a litre of water, a bottle to drink with. I carry a knife. My knife's just a basic, I've had this knife for a few years, it's just a basic, basic knife. I always need a knife. I carry a mobile phone. Digital 3G Telstra mobile phone, my licenses and the camera I use is just a digital camera. Um, it's got a timer that you can set on it so you can get yourself in the photos or and it's not too heavy. I've got another one that's heavier than this, but I carry I like to carry a small digital, they're good good pictures. Um, I carry a little bottle with just some powder that I carry around with me in my top pocket. Just, you just check the wind when you're going. I carry a little lens cleaner to clean my, my um, scope lens and my binocular lens. So it just hooks onto your hooks onto your bag. GPS. If I'm going into an area where I don't know, and I'm going to walk off. I'll just mark where my car is, or walk, mark where I start, and then if you get caught up and you walk further than where you are, you can always go back to your car or, you know, find your way back home. Main thing for foxes, <laughs> you've seen this before, this would be Tenerfield Whistle. I usually wear a shirt like this and I just hook it up to my top pocket like that and I just put it in then I don't lose it. Tenerfield Whistles are good. When you learn to blow them, you don't need to hold them, you can just blow, blow the whistle or the practice. Just keep practicing guys, they, once you get the hang of it, it's easy. I carry a set of binoculars with me, these are Lycra, they're, they're good binoculars, 10x42s, they've got a range finder in them. Sometimes, you know, you might want to check the distance, how far, you got, how far you've walked or how far, and you just scan, scan areas, good areas for Look, and you can see in the shadows of these, so you can look through. The, when you get a really good set of binoculars, you can actually th see through the bush and see what's in there. Um, the guns thing I have, I usually carry, I like the, the um, just made out of material like wetsuit, but I like the ones with the bullets so I can carry spare bullets in the front, you know, or you can put your shells in after you fire it off. So I always carry that. Carry that with me, it's comfortable and it's good with the little little bag. Now the main main thing I use, my rifle. I use a five-shot magazine normally. I've got a three-shot magazine, but I usually carry a five-shot because they're all that's all you need for the whole afternoon or the morning. Um, the caliber I use is a 204. These ones are loaded up with um, 27.8 grains of AR. 2208 behind a 39 grain blitzkin and primer, whatever, just a small primer. I just use the same primer, but they're really good on foxes. Now, the um, I usually carry a bipod with me or I carry a, a walking stick with uh, that I can sit down with, but mainly usually put a bipod on my, on my rifle and you can extend them out. And I sit there and I put the rifle, I'll show you how I do it, I put the rifle on my shoulder when I'm calling and I whistle. Um, and these are adjustable, you know, you can bring them in, tight, tighten them up and sit it in a position where your rifle's pretty good and they, and they swivel. The swivel ones are the best, I find they're the best. Now the main thing, your rifle, you've probably seen this in a few, few of the videos. This is just a ticker, a ticker stainless T3. I've just got some tape on the barrel 
and I'll just tape it up and usually I'll put on the side here with these bullets I lay, lay the same bullet all the time I never change in all my guns I know what distance the bullet drops how much wind drift I pretty much know it off my heart but I, I, I always write that on the side just to check you know when you're looking with your binoculars and you might have a shot, a long shot and you've got the wind drift and you're not sure that I always, I always use one of these. So five shot magazine, I usually slip it in. Don't load it as I'm, I'm walking, but when I sit down, sit down to, to whistle, I always put a bullet in and just chamber it like that. I don't, I don't fully load it down. I just chamber it like that. But I'm sitting, in, sitting down, or my boys are sitting with me, and then when we, when we finish. We always pop the bullet out, the detachable magazine, pull the magazine out, put the bullet back in and put that back in the arm. Um, we never carry a loaded, loaded rifle around with us. Escapes uh, Skowoski, Z5 this one on this, 5x25x52. By by Usually when you're whistling you're only using around 8 power, 10 power so you don't really need big power but when you do a long shot it's good to have the higher power if you get one sitting out there you know that you can zoom in on and got time but normally we set it on about 8 to 10 to 12 something like that in close and we usually set the distance like 50 50 meters or whatever so it's clear that distance and then then we set all right I'll set this rifle up and I'll show you how I um, sit on the shoulder and I whistle hope this Sort of gives you guys an idea, you don't need a lot of gear, you know, to get out there. Get out with the boys and just have a, a friend and just go out for a whistle. Plenty of foxes around now because no one, no one shoots them and they're killing a lot of our wildlife. So get out there and try to stop them, boys. <laughs> anyway, I'll set this rifle up and I'll show you how I do it. Fits on the um, front. Tripod. Hook this one down the bottom. You can use them on. I use the same one on different rifles, so I just have the one in a position, and I just hold. I hold the arm. Um, put it in like that. Load a bullet in, and usually just cock it down, so it's not fully cocked. And then we set up. Check the wind. Wind's the most important thing. Make sure the wind's in your favour. Wasting your time if you're not got the wind in your favour. Waste of time, boys. And then just start whistling. So you can start off loud or start off uh, like that. When I'm whistling, when a fox is coming in, I put, I lock. When a fox comes in, I lock down, and then I. Usually the fox runs in towards you looking, got to keep still. Don't move when, they, when they're looking. Move when they put their head down or they loop, look across. That's when you adjust yourself. And then just lightly blow the tenor field. Down. Just pull the bullet out when you empty out. Put it back in your magazine. Put it in your haversack and carry it like that, and then the, the gun's unloaded when you're walking around. No accidents. Um, my boys all do that. And that's why I love hunting with my boys. They know they know how I how I hunt. And when we sit down, when we get up, everyone's unloaded. We all check each other's firearms to make sure they're unloaded, and we walk on to the next spot. So I hope you hope you like this. Quick review boys on um, on some of the gear. See so you go and good luck this year. Hope you get a few.